Hello, so today I thought I'd do um, a bit of an unboxing video. Uh, I got this parcel today from Japan. Um, I've opened, I've removed my uh, address and opened the box, but I haven't actually been in it properly. Um, it's got Hello Camera on the side. I don't know if both of the cameras I got f were from there or not. I got it f all on uh, Sendico which is just sort of like a place that, a middleman that allows you to um, bid on Japanese auctions and stuff. So, in here, I think, if it's the correct package, are two cameras. Yes, there are two cameras. Um, and they are two of pretty much the same camera. Um, they're both uh, Ricoh, I can't remember if they're called Rico Auto Half, or just Rico Half. And then one of them is the more, um, well, a more modern version, because I think there's actually quite a few versions of these. And one of them's sort of like a more original, older one. Um, I think they were all made sort of roughly in the 60s. Um, and the... Uh, 35 mil cameras, um, and obviously shoot on, shoot half frames. Um, and yeah, I just think that, I think that's the new one actually, we'll look at that one after, because that one's the cool one. We'll look at this one first, which is actually a nice case. Uh, yeah, I don't really know much about these. You don't really, well, I don't think you really see them very often. Um, I don't know if they were specific to Japan, I think... There was another, I can't remember, there was, I think there was another manufacturer that sort of rebranded them, just like the same camera that was like the European version. So I don't know if these were strict, strictly Japan market only sort of things, or if you get them elsewhere. But you don't see them very often, and I don't really know a lot about them, uh, which is why they intrigue me. This case is quite cool. Um, made in Japan. Feels like proper leather, but I'm not really sure. Um, but yes, yeah, it's always nice when you get things in cases. So this one, I will warn you by the way, I don't think either of these are in particularly good condition. Um, bought them both as, oh that's the thing for the camera, I thought it was part of the case. Bought them both as non-working junk. Um, but. Yeah, I bought them more to sort of try and fix up, but just because I was interested in them, really, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on them. They do... There are, so there are a few, you'll see in, when I look at the other one, but there are quite a few different, like, variants of these um, with all sorts of different extra bits. There's, like, ones with, like, a flash, ones with, like, hot shoe mounts, and, like, the a lot of them have got, like, these crazy sort of different patterns on the front, which is what... Ideally, is what I wanted, but because um, they look really, really cool. Um, that's upside down. That was annoying me. Um, yeah, there's like sort of like red wave patterns and sort of all crazy, like like 60s sort of style patterns and designs on the front. Um, I don't know if these this bit like comes off and they're interchangeable or what. Like I said, it's sort of a bit of a learning experience. I don't really know much about them. Um, but yeah, I don't know, there's obviously selenium meter on the front there, I think they're all pretty similar in that aspect. Uh, viewfinder, this thing is, is that like the release for the back or what? Not sure on that. That's some sort of switch anyway. It's not like, it's not like a timer or anything is it? Hmm, so it's going to be just sort of a bit of a uh, learning procedure. Uh, let me look through the... In fact, I'll put it through the... See if I can get it through the camera. So it looks pretty boring in there, but it's sort of like dirty and... the sort of scratches and bits of crap all over. I think that this would probably polish up pretty nicely. Um, I think. I think it'd probably near enough. It's not actually as bad as I thought. 
Um, it looks a lot dirtier on the pictures. Um, but anyway, I don't, I don't think it works. But I'm not sure. Again, my Japanese auction sites usually list things as junk, and most of the time they're not actually junk, and they work. Or there's something very minor that doesn't work. Um, that's obviously like a ISO. I don't know. What is that? Ah. So that looks like the. Can I move it now? It's like locked in. I think it's locked in because it's on auto. So that's like the aperture selector, which is kind of weird. But it's like on top, like that. It's like. Is that 20? It's 22. 11, 5.6, 2.8, and then there's an auto mode. So the ASO is obviously this selector thing. Um, this is something. So that goes that way. Is that for like rewinding the film, maybe? That's obviously the advance lever and that's the rewind lever is it? Yeah, feels like it. Um, so is that? Aha, so that's how you get the back open. Um, see it is quite scabby inside. Sort of like um, the, the obviously the seals were all messed up but it doesn't really look like it's got it's just sort of like a strip around the outside of there then it looks like there's like a little bit around the viewfinder. Other than that, it's not really much to replace. That's just dirty in there. Um, and this feels like there's like, well, it looks like there's like a bit of paint like bubbling off at the back. Um, but again, not too much of an issue. I'm actually quite surprised about this. Um, plastic, is that plastic? I think that's plastic. It's gone a bit rough there. Um, with age, but yeah, um, well, by the looks of it, it's not too bad at all. Just got to figure out how to use it. So is that the shutter at the front? Possibly. It doesn't sound right, does it? What's that about then? Hmm. I'm doing it the wrong way. No. That's kind of weird. I don't know if you can, I imagine you can hear that. Just sort of like a... Like a timer sort of noise. I wonder if that's supposed to be like that or what. Um, so I'm guessing then. It's like a flash pot there. I don't know what that's for. To be honest, is that for, is that like a is that for mounting to like a tripod? I don't know. Kind of looks like the same sort of thread. Um, I'm not sure on that. That'd be a bit weird if it was like mounted sideways. But I got no. I guess it probably won't. It'd be like for like a portrait picture. Got the oh, that's where the um tells you what number you might. Like, what um, slide you're on of the film, I think. Uh, I wondered where that was. Hmm. Just a bit of a mystery now with how to get it to work. Oh, breaking it already. I'm just going to. Ah, so there's like a bit of a notch there, I've already messed up. That needs to go on first. Yeah, so through the viewfinder, it's weird, there's like a bit of a mark that looks like it's not supposed to be there. Um, but it's just sort of, yeah, it's just like a, obviously like the frame, the guidelines for the frame. It does actually look like it's more meant to be shot portrait rather than landscape, um, which is kind of weird. 
I wonder if I'll be able to show this. Figure out where the lens is. Mm -hmm. You can there, you can sort of see the frame line there and there. Um, but there's sort of like quite a there's like quite a gap on this side before the frame lines start, which is kind of weird. And they, they look like the longer and they are wider, if that makes sense. It looks like they're made for shooting this way. Um, I probably don't describe that very well. Uh, it's pretty difficult without actually showing you in the thing. Um, yeah, let's have a look then. See if I can coax some sort of life out of it. So there's... It's like a, a thing to push in there. Uh, which I imagine is what you push in when you rewind the film. It's just unusual. And then it doesn't seem to... That must be the... To fire the shutter. So there's literally no other button that it could be unless you press that in, but it doesn't look like it. Alright, so that's locked. So that which has got an L on it, so I could probably figure that out. Looks like it locks the shutter so from firing. Um We'll have to come back to that. I might do another video. I might have to take it apart. Um, unless there's something I'm just missing. I'm just being a bit thick. Hmm. Yeah, it's a weird one. Um, let's quickly change this up if it'll make any sort of difference. No, we'll have to come back to that. Um, I'll do another video. We'll have another look at that, see if I can get to work. Um, we're now, in fact, no, I'll leave it there for now. We'll uh, look at this one. So that's this one's sort of like the, like a a first run one. I think I think this is sort of like the original model, Rico Auto Half. And then from there, there's like. I think I think there's the Rico Auto Half E, which I think is what this is, and then there's like the the E2, and then I think there's like a, an an S an S2, um, that have all got sort of like added extra little features and things like that. But yeah, I think this one's the E. Although it doesn't actually seem to say on it. Look at it out properly. This one is a bit more interesting looking. Um, Really well packaged anyway, which is good. Um, I don't know if this is from like the seller or if this is from Sendico, but um, oh yeah, this one's a bit manky. Maybe this one's the one that was hot day. Oh, it does have a big E on it actually. I don't know, I missed that. So yeah, that's obviously the um, the Auto Half E. It's got some kind of funky, sticky mold stuff on it, which is nice. Um, and it's got some writing on the bottom. Yeah, this is the one that was a lot more battered up. I remember now. Uh, it's got the smashed bit of glass there. And it's got a nice scratch along the front there. I think that's just actually some sticky, horrible residue stuff. Um, but, yeah. Let's ignore <laughs> all the disgusting bits for a minute. And it's a pretty cool camera. Like, it's a pretty cool looking thing. They're really small as well. Um, I'm sure you can see. I don't have a, another camera near to compare size, but they're tiny little things. Literally. Um, I've got a ruler. Don't have a ruler. Um, well, I mean, you can see it's like you can see the cutting mark. There. You could probably work out how big it is from that. But yeah, tiny little tiny things like my hands for comparison there. 
Um, but really cool. So this one actually has some writing on the lens. Um, F2.8, 25 mil. Other than that, not a lot. It looks like this one has the shutter on the bottom. Um, and I appear to have set off. Was that like a rewind function? No, it can't have been a rewind function because there's a mechanical rewind at the bottom. That must have just been like a timer or something, uh, which is kind of weird. I kind of really want to clean this up, but I think I'll save it for another video. Um, it's not particularly too nice. I think this one looks a bit, it feels maybe a bit chunkier. Yeah, it is. So this one's a lot slimmer. Um, looks like this one's got sort of like a hinge on the back rather than the back just popping out. Um, open. I don't really want to touch. Open does not work. Does not appear to open anything, which is fantastic. Oh, there we go. Just sticky and horrible. So this has some remnants of some film in there. Looks like it's like snapped off the leader of the film. Which is potentially not a good thing and I've just pushed that in further in there, which I probably shouldn't have done. If it makes it look like the film might have got stuck or something and it snapped. Um But I don't know. It's just what it looks like. Pretty similar inside. Pretty much identical inside, actually. Um, I'm gonna have to put this up to my eye now and look through the viewfinder, which I don't really want to. Yeah, it doesn't really it doesn't. I'm gonna stop doing things off camera. So it doesn't go on very well and doesn't come off very well. I think that just needs cleaning more than anything. It's got like it's like it's been in water or something. It's like it's been in pond. I sat that way in some algae or something. It's really gross and disgusting. Um, but I'll put it up to my eye quickly. So yeah, other than it being smashed and you can't really see anything because it's super like blurry from the smashes of glass and it just looks a bit foggy anyway. Um, it's identical again. I don't know if you can, you really probably won't be able to see anything through here. So. No. Anyway, there's not there's not a lot to see. So, as far as features, it looks like it's the same. This feels really stiff. Oh, there we go. Twenty two, eleven, five points. This doesn't feel as clicky feels more like sticky and not very nice and then it clicks to auto um, and then this goes up to 400 um, on the old ASA setting this one only goes to 200 but at the same time it starts at 12 this one starts at 25 just noticed a bit of a knobbly bit there So, if I press this again, is it going to do anything? No, it doesn't do anything. So if I wind it on, will it wind on? It's got the same weird winding mechanism. Really, it's not doing anything. But, I mean, the fact that it did click down makes me think that it should do something. Hmm. Why did it work one time but then not another? 
I feel like because they're doing the same sort of weird thing there's just some sort of something that I'm missing here I'm not quite understanding that I should be doing what is that about it's like it's like winding something up in there so weird I'm gonna have to uh Probably gonna have to spend some time just figuring stuff out with this. That is winding the right way, isn't it? I mean, there's an arrow on it, so it definitely is. And if you see, I can sort of wind it, and then it takes a minute for like the thing to catch up. It's just super weird. Odd. It won't fire. Why is that? Hmm. I'm definitely going to have to delve into these a bit more. I think it'd be cool to sort of clean them up anyway. Um, and just sort of see where we, how we can get them looking nicer. Um, the only thing that is a bit annoying, I think I could probably replace the glass in there. Although the other thing is, I'm not seeing many areas where there's screws or anything to take things out. One there. There's one really dirty one there. It's a bit there. Hmm. So I wonder if... If the lens unscrews? Hmm. Not sure. So this probably hasn't been a massively informative video. Um, <laughs> But, let's put the bubble wrap out of the way. Um, I hope it's probably been interesting for at least a couple of people. Um, like I say, I think I'll do another video because this, like, they're really cool. They're really interesting. I've never seen anything like them. Um, don't know if that's just me. Maybe, you know, people are full of those loads of these about and I'm just missing out but I've not seen them before um, never come up on eBay or seen them anywhere so yeah I'll, um, I'll try and get them cleaned up we'll do a video cleaning them up the only thing that's a bit annoying is that scrape down there because I think that's probably gone into the pattern um, but it is what it is I knew it was there when I bought it um, so yeah interesting to know what that Japanese said on the bottom but it's a bit it's a bit th faded off now probably saw the name or something so yeah anyway thanks for watching um, goodbye I guess we'll um, we'll do another video soon of cleaning them up and making them look nice so I thought what I would do quickly um, I've actually I don't know if I'll put this in at the end or slice it in the middle somewhere, but I've just finished recording after being confused about the uh, the whole winding mechanism thing. Um, I just thought I'd try and put some film in. I can't seem to find much out about these online. Um, but I did read something about them, like an auto wind on mechanism, and I wonder if it'll just sort of maybe burst into life if I actually put some film in. I don't know if it will or not. Uh, the film thing's a bit weird, actually. So that will probably want to go over this and then slide under there, I'm guessing. This might be a bit of a waste of film, but it's some old Jessup stuff that's been in my cupboard, cupboard for... Uh, Many years that I've never used, so. so I don't know how this will work. I guess I don't know if it'll do anything. It's, there's too many variables, I guess. There's I have no idea if it works or if there's anything that's broken on it. Uh, just to go over on it. But I just thought I'd test it out because I'm going to have to test it at some point anyway because I don't really know what or if anything is broken. 
Right. So it does appear to have stopped now. So I think, if I understand this correctly, um, this is basically going to wind on so far, stop. I can take a picture, and then I can wind on even further, stop, take a picture. Um, which is obviously like normal film. Um, but it, it's sort of like an auto-stopping mechanism. I don't know if I've explained that very well. Um, I, don't, I don't fully understand how it works myself, to be honest. But yeah, it's some, some kind of crazy feature where it's not going to... It's obviously not going to wind on unless there's film in it. There must need like the tension of the film or something to hold it together. But it's obviously done something now because it's not winding on any further. Um, so for the sake of wasting a shot, let's I'll just take a picture out of the window and see if it works. Did something. Um, and then it's gone again. After winding a tiny little bit, which doesn't seem like enough. I want to see if I can see the aperture opening of the lens. Have I got it on auto? I have. I should put it on 2.8. Oh, this one's smooth as well. Um, the first one was clicky for some reason, the other one was smooth. Maybe I just got confused. So this one, this moves a lot smoother than the other one. The other one was like super sticky. Um, so if I put this on f2.8, I just want to see if I can see the aperture opening and closing. Uh, no. Didn't look like it, did it? Uh, it didn't even seem to wind on that time. Oh, okay. So you can literally just click. Ah, I understand now. So it's it is like a, a proper auto wind on function. So you can literally just fire, and it'll take pictures. But it doesn't look like the um, the shutter's working at all. Uh, Hmm, which is a bit annoying because there's not really any other way to test this. Um, it's just not ideal. I can't really see into there very well. I wonder if I got a light, it'd probably just glare off it though, wouldn't it? Mm. Let's try it again. Oh, that doesn't look like. It's so cool that it winds on there, that's really cool. Um, definitely doesn't look like... I'm going to take the back of this, this is just going to... I'm just going to keep this as like a bit of test film, because I've not actually got uh, any test film, and there are often many times when I could do with it, so... I know people will probably cry about it, but, you know, it's for science. Hmm... I'm going to have to take this out. Should I wind it on? Should I wind it back? Let's test the wind back function. So that like releases it. And then this. There we go. So that seems to work pretty well. It's just annoying that there's no way to test that aperture. Test, test the uh, shutter. Definitely didn't seem to be moving. Don't know if it's just sticky or what. Um, let's have a quick test in the Monkey Pond camera. Let's see if this works. Let's see if we can hear it working. I'll see. It. Well, that's. It's just going to be awkward because you can't really see anything. Um, hmm. There we go, it pulled out properly. Everything's just a lot stiffer and stickier on this camera. So, 
same thing, slide that in there. Now if we cover that back up, I get it to close properly, my dear. Super stuck that. Hmm. Oh, this this is the one that I pressed. I pressed it and it did something. I pressed it sort of by accident. Hmm. That's a bit annoying. I was hoping this one. What the hell happened then? Strange. So, slightly um, hmm. just looked a bit like janky down there. But it metal looks a bit worn, but I guess it's just the it's maybe what's making it stick a bit. Um, so yeah, I mean we're slightly wiser than before. Um, we know it has a cool wind on function now, um, which would be awesome because you could literally just like, just click I guess, I guess it's, I mean I think these were fairly mass produced, I guess they were just made to be easy to use, um, but yeah really cool little cameras, hopefully I can get them both working properly, um, I think hopefully the shutter's just like, uh, the yeah the shutter's just stuck and maybe if I just try and clean it up a bit from the back it might free up um, if not we'll try and take it apart and if worse comes to worse they're nice looking things out there so you can put them on a shelf somewhere this is a bit of history all right cool yeah so like i said i'll make another video um, at some point i wound that too far back in didn't i damn oh i'll probably get that back out um I'll make another video at some point and we'll clean them up um, and maybe try and fix them. Maybe we should, we should probably try and fix them before we clean them up really, shouldn't we? Um, so yeah, I'll make another video trying to fix it. Um, I think this will clean up really nicely though. And I think, to be honest, I think this will. I think if I can get back there and just get a bit of perspex or another bit of glass to replace that. Um, probably polish this up a bit, it might get some of the dirt out, it might make it look a bit nicer. Um, we just need cleaning really. Um, yeah, I think they'll look pretty nice. Um, hopefully we can make them work. So yeah, cool. See you next time. Bye.